History can give a connection to certain social values, beliefs, customs, and life in general. And that connection is strong on various levels at the Hinton Historical Museum. Our claim to fame is the largest horse carriage collection in the state the second largest barbed wire collection in the nation. We have the largest collection in the state. And now we haven't documented it yet as such, but we think we have the largest telephone collection in the state. So we have three of the largest state's collections here. You can make a clean sweep through the area that displays an interesting history of the washing machine. You'll find out all the dirt on how progress was made between the scrub board to the ringer washing machines. We also have a very nice collection of bicycles, vintage bicycles, starting with a high wheel bicycle down through the 19 teens, 1917, and we have uh, up to 1960s bicycles. There's another aspect of the history that can be found here. Art Peters is somewhat of an authority on the California road. It brought immigrants through the state during the gold rush. And through his extensive, tedious research, Mr. Peters has found not only an impressive amount of artifacts from that era, but wagon ruts that still can be found to this day. Permanent trails recorded by the passage of time itself. Where we can still find unplowed areas of the wagon road where wagon trains have camped. In those camps, we can find all kinds of artifacts, broken chain links, broken wagon pieces, brackets, and uh, once in a while, it's very interesting to find a personal item like a, a plate or a cup or a fork. And I found one fork that was definitely run over by a wagon wheel, smashed in the ground when it was broke, and it still holds that bent around the wagon wheel position. It's been laying in one of our showcases right now. Whereas a big part of the story of the United States has essentially always been one of westward expansion, it's both intriguing and compelling to find remnants of the people who traveled through Oklahoma on the way to California. And Mr. Peters struck gold, so to speak, in one campsite where he found over 300 artifacts. To me, the most interesting thing is the little boutonnils. And those little boutonnils were found in the same little cluster where someone had repaired a boot, and there's the boot heel that has one nail still in it, and then a couple of straight boot nails that were not used, but probably dropped and he couldn't retrieve those. I could have spent at least 30 minutes per case just examining the various artifacts that took him two years to collect. One item is this picket stake, which was an uh, item that almost every wagon would have several of. Part of the Hinton Historical Museum is the Parker House next door. It contains several historical pieces as well, from clothing to kitchen items. Our heritage, our history, is made up of many things, large and small, and we can see some of that culture through natural sources as well. And Mr. Peters works hard to make sure we understand the past. If we didn't preserve them, they'd just be lost to history. 